What's up guys? Our favorite day of the week is finally here. It's time to go hunting for some Blu-rays. The big new releases this week are Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Krampus on 4K, as well as the Karate Kid Collection on 4K. Really quickly, before we go out there to the big three stores, I want to say a very happy birthday to my number one fan, Josh. This past weekend was his birthday, and all he wanted to do was go Blu-ray hunting. Here he is posing like an expert Blu-ray hunter in front of those shippers. I could not be more proud of you, Josh. So again, happy, happy birthday to you. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Location number one, as always, is Best Buy. Let's hope that this week we have some new items in stock. In the new releases at Best Buy, not seeing much at the top, although we do have some new releases here. So we do have the Street Fighter Steelbook. I've been hearing that this movie is absolute garbage, but the Steelbook is looking pretty awesome. So depending on what else I see today, I might get that just to get something. How pathetic is that? Right next to it, we have the season five of Rick and Morty Steelbook, which looks really awesome. If I've seen Rick and Morty, I would pick that up, but I haven't. And they also have the Blu-ray right next to it. That one has a cool cover too. Not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome too. Everything else is things that we've seen over and over. Free Guy, Black Widow, Yellowstone, still have American Psycho Steelbook, Respect, Hacksaw Ridge, Cruella, Don't Breathe 2, Old, still have three steelbooks of Old, Pig, Tammy Faye, Candyman, Batman Year One on 4K. So let's move around to the other side, see what they got. Not a whole heck of a lot. We still have copies of Sean Chi, Snake Eyes on 4K, G.I. Joe 4K. We do have Cry Macho on Blu-ray. There we go, there's something new. One copy of Malignant that came out last week, but I didn't see it out. Fast and Furious Steelbook, Mortal Kombat, Godzilla vs. Kong Steelbook, Stillwater, Injustice, F9, all the usual suspects. Okay, so let's go on to the back and see what they have over there. In the new releases in the back, we do have some new releases. We have the Karate Kid 3 movie collection on 4K. I got to admit, now that it's in front of me, it's kind of tempting. It's at $49.99, which is the same price that it is on Amazon. And they don't have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And I was going to get that. And they do have Krampus. But luckily for me, Tony, Tony P, one of my BFFs here on YouTube, is going to send me a copy of that. So I don't need to buy that either. So Karate Kid might be a possibility for me today. So I'm just going to put that down for now. So they have Karate Kid. They have Krampus on 4K, the naughty cut. They also have Cop Shop. This is out brand new today. Gerard Butler and Frank Grillo on Blu-ray. What else? What else can I find? They still have Four Good Days. I'm probably going to stream that. I was hearing good things about it. Still have copies of Jungle Cruise, Cruella. Bruce Willis is still surviving the game down there. What do we have over here? This one's new. The Jesus Music. What is this? The Ultimate Ong and Korra Blu-ray Collection? I don't even know what this is some kind of it says Nickelodeon I don't know but that's here for $74.99 a little bit too expensive for me but yeah I'm thinking that's pretty much it for new releases I'm seriously thinking about that Karate Kid collection now like <laughs> seriously seriously thinking about it Best Buy doing a little bit better this week than they were the past couple of weeks. At least they had new items in stock. The Karate Kid Collection, Krampus, they did have Cry Macho, and one copy of Malignant, but they did not have the big new release I wanted, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I really want that yellow steel book. I'm probably just going to have to end up ordering it online, so I'm going to check to see if it's available right now before I leave the parking lot, but the next location we're going to is Walmart. Next stop, we're going into Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. In the new releases at Walmart, they are advertising the Jesus music, but I am not seeing Who Framed Roger Rabbit anywhere so far. We still do have copies of Shan chi at the top. They have Ron's Gone Wrong here on 4K Blu-ray and DVD. We have some Paw Patrol. Always got to have some Paw Patrol on DVD. Still have the Trolls Holiday and Harmony more Paw Patrol, Jungle Cruise, Suicide Squad, Candyman, Prisoners of the Ghostland, Tammy Faye, Respect, 
They do have Cry Macho here on Blu-ray and DVD. They have Cop Shop, Rick and Morty Season 5, but no Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Hmm. Hopefully they'll have some at Target. In the middle aisle at Walmart, the Christmas movies are completely taking over. So for new ones, we have Home for Christmas, If I Only Had Christmas, USS Christmas, Christmas She Wrote, A Nashville Christmas Carol, Mount, what is that? Magic in Mount Holly, Hearts and Vines, A Holiday Homecoming, we have Pups Alone, we still got copies of The Spore and Chernobyl. We have Wild Indian. But I think this is the movie of the week, Ape versus Monster. If that is not the biggest Godzilla versus Kong ripoff, I don't know what is. It's pretty much the same exact cover as Godzilla versus Kong, fight till the death. So that is pretty hilarious. That is $9.96 with a nice slip cover here at Walmart. What else, anything else? Alien, Battlefield Earth, Amityville Moon, still have Dinosaur Hell, still got that Tooth Fairy, The Last Extraction, Catch the Bullet, and there's also The Emperor's Sword. Walmart was a failure. Well, it wasn't a complete failure. It did have Ron's Gone Wrong, which we did not see over at Best Buy. It had other titles in stock, but not Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That is the one I want. That's the one I'm looking for, and it did not have it. Cross your fingers and hopefully Target will have it, but I did not leave Walmart empty-handed. I'm excited about this one. The Holiday Mix is out. So this is the Holiday Nut Crunch, and I'm excited because it's all of the nuts and the flavors that I love in one single container. It has peanuts, raisins, chocolate-covered pieces, almonds, cashews, cranberries. I love all of these, so I did get a little bit of joy out of Walmart. So let's go on over to the Target and hope that Roger Rabbit is over there. Last stop of the day is the Target. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. In the new releases at Target, Target is good for something this week. We have Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K. I will be snagging that. If I can't have the Steelbook, then I'm gonna get the 4K because look at the cover. It's looking pretty amazing. However, that little, that little rip right there is not amazing. So I will find a better one but that is here on 4K for $24.99. They still have a couple copies of the Wonder Steel book, plenty of copies of Ron's Gone Wrong on Blu-ray. Also on DVD, we have copies of Shang-Chi, Pig, Rick and Morty Season 5, Ron's Gone Wrong on 4K. Still have a couple copies of the Jungle Cruise Target exclusive as well as a 4K version. Here's Dear Evan Hansen, the first time we're seeing that today on DVD. More Shang-Chi on DVD. Plenty of copies of Cop Shop. More Jungle Cruise. They also have Cry Macho. So Target's kind of, kind of, is this the winner? Is this the winner today? Because it has a lot of the new releases. So I have to compare and think about that one, but I think it might be the winner. How nice for Target. As far as the middle aisle goes at Target, really nothing brand new, kind of empty, gotta be honest. It's the same titles that we've seen again and again. They still have those like sparkly covers for some romance movies, Dirty Dancing, Forever My Girl, and Twilight. Nothing really new or super fantastic. Nothing to really point out, which is sad. They still have a lot of collections. They do have The Addams Family on Blu-ray, not on 4K. I believe you can only buy the 4K online, which is really weird. I don't know why, but I'll probably wait until that goes down in price. They have Game of Thrones on sale for $129 and $99.99. So if you're interested in that, you might as well come down to Target. And then of course they do have the selection of holiday films. They do have on DVD, Home Alone, three film collection, one, two, and three. They do have Christmas with the Cranks on DVD. So if you don't want to play, if you don't want to pay 20 something dollars for the Blu-ray, you can pay maybe $10, $5. I have no idea how much this is. Miracle on 34th Street on DVD, and then Elf, Rudolph, Polar Express, Christmas Vacation, and A Charlie Brown Christmas. But the winner of the day, I'm definitely going to be picking up that Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K. Back in the car, it's time for me to show you what I got when I went out today. And I do have to say, Target, you saved the day. You are the savior because you're the only store that had 
who framed Roger Rabbit. Now, granted, it is the 4K, not the Steelbook. That's only at Best Buy. And I already looked online. It's sold out. You can't order it right now but I will order it in the future. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to double dip on this one because I do want that steel book. But in the meantime, we do have the 4K with the very nice slip cover. It's a great looking slip cover. So thank you Target for having this in stock. Otherwise I would have been severely disappointed today. I know, I know. I know it's a horrible movie. You guys have been letting me know that in the comments when I was talking about it in What's New for Blue, but the steel book is looking pretty awesome. Plus, this was, this was before I found Who Framed Roger Rabbit, so I figure if I'm not going to find it, I might as well get something that looks cool, if that makes any sense at all. So yes, I did indeed get Street Fighter. I've never seen it. It's probably a hot pile of stinking garbage. I will judge for myself and report back like I always do, and if I do hate it, then I can always do an I hate this I hate this movie video on it. So it will not go to waste, trust me. And finally, I did indeed pick up the Karate Kid 3 movie collection on 4K. I was not planning on doing this whatsoever. This is a total impulse buy. I was like, you know what? whatever. I'm just going to get it. I love The Karate Kid. I think it's a great movie. So why not just get the three movie collection on 4K? It was $49.99. Whatever. Merry Christmas to myself. So that is everything that I picked up on my outing today. But the big question is, what did you find when you went out today? Did you find that Roger Rabbit Steelbook? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.